here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Thursday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. I hope each and every one of you are doing great. Even though there's not a whole lot to be happy about, we're living in some crazy times. 2020 was whack. 2021, in my opinion, is going to be worse. But pff, we're in it together. If you can hit that like button, that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all my videos. So, I know I talk a lot about the pens, but I'm going to go back to the bucket. And today, we're going to talk about prison politics. Sorry, provincial politics. The difference. So federal politics tend to be a lot more serious. They tend to be gang related, a lot of it. And a lot of it is about real deep personal stuff. Hence the reason why people get hurt so badly. And because a lot of the time in the penitentiary, you're in a pretty good situation. You don't want to fit up. So for you to go at somebody like that, where you're going to knife them up or smash their head in or something, there's got to be a real reason because you're going to fear freedom for a long time. And, you know, you could just F your whole bit, end up doing it all in Max or in the shoe, catch more time. Who knows? But provincial is a little different. Provincial politics are petty. When you go into provincial, how do you know if you're a mark? Sometimes you just got to assume that you're not and walk in with some... Uh, uh, what's it called? Some charisma. Walk in with some, some confidence. Don't let them make see you look scared. Don't let them see you look intimidated. Sometimes though, guys will walk on the block and literally the whole block will get up off, stop doing whatever they're doing, and just run at dude, and just see what happens. They'll just curl. They're not gonna actually do anything, but most guys just curl. Oh, there's a fed right there. It's literally a test. I've seen it happen a hundred times. That's the guy. And they go, eh. It's not a good look. That's not something you want to do. But in provincial, so whether you're in Lindsay, Maplehurst, Penetang, the South, a lot of the time you're locked up. There's a lot of pent up frustration, a lot of pent up testosterone. So when you do get out, you're high energy. You want to F around. You want to tear crap up because you're bored. You're bored. You're angry that you're just finally getting out and you want to take out your frustration on somebody. And it happens all the time in provincial. So you'll see guys just straight bully guys for no reason. Bully them for, the, for their food, slap them around. It's pretty horrible to see, actually. But if somebody's not prepared to stand up for themselves, then never go out of your way to stand up for them because you're just going to get yourself in a problem and that person's going to be standing in the corner watching you take a beating, get jumped, get stomped, whatever it is. So just don't even waste your time if the person's not prepared to stand up for themselves. But like I said, in provincial, everything is boredom. All the time, everybody's thinking, how can we get it in? How can we get it in? Where can we get bogey? Bogey is slang for tobacco. Where can we get that piff? Where can we get whatever? Now, if you're in a super jail, obviously there's the kite system. And you never want to become the mailman. If you are the mailman on a block in Lindsay, Penetang, Maplehurst, any block where they fly kites through the doors, man. Mailman is like bottom, bottom of the barrel. Like... If you've never been in the super jails, they're shaped like octagons almost. Like, and each uh, 
side of the octagon is a range. There's a big glass window, but there's doors on the sides so the feds can run in if they have to, right? Well, those doors, these guys will slide kites through. Right? Guys will talk to each other, whatever. If anything's got to move, that's where it's going to move, right? Problem is, though, a lot of the time, stuff goes missing. And when stuff goes missing, it creates problems. Now, a lot of time, you'll have one block doesn't get along with this block. This block doesn't get along with this block. Or this block just got a bunch of guys that just take shit. Just, there's times in Lindsay or I'm sure in Penetang, or I'm sure in Maplehurst, where stuff just seems to disappear. Guys don't even know they have stuff coming for them. It gets snatched. If it's not like a top name brand, name brand guy, it gets snatched. And then you're like threatening people at the window. It's crazy. But I'm going to tell you what could happen. Here's a story that kind of relates to that. Okay, so I was in Lindsay. And there was this block. And these guys felt like they could just take whatever they want. And this guy landed on the block, okay? He looked like a waste guy. He looked like he had nobody to stand up for him. He's just a waste. But he had it up. He had that piff. He had that bogey. And I'm sure he had other stuff. Well, these guys felt like they should have been broken off. Even though they didn't understand that that wasn't that guy's. That decision wasn't his to make. But they decided for him. They decided that they were going to snatch that. They decided that they were going to take that. And this is where provincial politics start. This is where beefs start. Because then guys feel like they're tough. Or they're cool. Or they lie. Like they did, didn't happen. And they feel like because they're on a different block. And they got all their homies on their block. They can't be touched. But I'm telling you. You can always be touched in prison. Money talks. And I'm telling you. These dudes got touched. That ceramic buck, uh, carbon buck... That ceramic buck knife, carbon fiber, these things are like razor blades, man. They're like razor blades. They don't go off in the metal detectors. This one dude caught it right down the back, shoulder to hip. Just <laughs> arms sliced up. Dude's hamburger meated like a razor blade. It's not a good feeling. It's embarrassing, too. To walk out with these slices on you. Everybody's standing up at the window watching. Knowing that you're a goof that stole a package. And that's why you got it. No matter what prison you go to. You don't touch other people's stuff. That's just part of the rules. Part of the politics. Everybody knows it's an unwritten rule. You don't touch other people's stuff. There are some guys that will smash you for switching their laundry in the pen. There are some guys that'll smash you for touching a phone that's hanging in the bucket. It just depends. You go in there, you're new, you respect the guys that have been there, you respect the rules of the block, and it's not because you're a punk, it's because you have respect for the dudes that have been there before you, and you respect the program. There's nothing worse than some new dude coming on the block with some weird energy, changing everything up, switching up the way that things are moving, because one person in provincial can change everything, can change the whole dynamics of the block. I'm telling you, when I was in the Don jail and Buddy got murked on my block, that block was peaceful. That block was lovely. Of course, it's the Don. It was 2C backside, God, or 2A backside, Gaza block. But, man, straight savage. And literally overnight, the block changed because of one person. And within a week, there's a body on the block. A lot of people aren't going to take kindly to some new dude coming in and screwing up the dynamics and the energy of the range. And that's something you always have to be aware of. You can't walk in there like you own crap. It don't matter how tough you you are, because you really don't know who you're up against. You walk onto a block in Penetang, you walk onto a block in Maplehurst or in Lindsay, there's 32 guys on that block. Everybody on that block's been on that block together for you don't know how long. You have no idea who's an enemy. You walk on there as a 
mark. It don't matter how tough you are. Fall, fall into the program. Pay the respects to the block. Be a man. Act with some dignity. And just do the right thing. You know? Like, that whole tough guy routine. Thumbs down to that. You know? I find that any person who is somebody. Any person who's actually tough. They don't have to tell people that. They don't have to pump up their chest and show everybody that they're the baddest man. I'm telling you, every single time somebody acts that way, they get chopped down like a tree. It just is what it is. People, at least one person's going to say in their mind, no, 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 who's this dude? Who the hell is this dude? Like, every now and then in provincial, you see just even these jack dudes just, what? And just call the whole block. And somebody just says, what? What? And all of a sudden, the whole block is just rushing these dudes. Don't be that person. Don't go in, change the dynamics. Don't touch what's not yours. Don't package teeth. You're not the sickest man there. Guaranteed. Obviously, I share my stories with you guys, so you guys don't have to go through these things yourself. If I could snap my finger, nobody goes back to the bucket. Nobody goes back to the pen. Nobody is addicted to drugs. Nobody is abused. Nobody has PTSD. That's what I would do. But that is not reality, especially in 2021, seeing everything that we've been going through with COVID and all this craziness that's going on right now. But the reality is, it's all about using your head. It's all about making it out and surviving. It's not about going in there and trying to earn stripes to be the coolest dude on the block. If you strive to be the baddest man in the penitentiary, that's what you're going to be. You're going to be one of the baddest men in the penitentiary and you're going to have zero life on the outside. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you could hit that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word. That would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all my videos. So provincial politics. You're going to walk on the block. They're going to test you. They're going to see if you're a mark or not. Don't fold. Don't act scared. Just be a man, carry yourself like a man, and you'll be cool. Don't box teeth. Don't snitch. Don't talk to the feds, and you'll be all right. Love each and every one of you. The new Matt Clark.